Saturday Social, brought to you by EA Sports FC with PlayStation 5. The January transfer window is open. We love this, don't we? A lot of rumours <laughs> starting. And there are some deals that have been done as well. Yeah. The Saturday Social whiteboard is out. There it is. Uh, what is the plan for this item? I'm excited about this. Very, very simple. We've gone through the week's news. We found some of the biggest transfers and transfer rumours that are said to be happening. You two are going to have the task of saying whether that transfer would be a hit or a miss. Mm. So if it happens... Exactly. Miss, Very fine. simple. OK, first. first up, let's talk about Jaden Sancho to Dortmund. Now, this is progressing all the time. The latest that we believe is that it might be a loan mm. rather than a buy. Obviously, former Dortmund player, uh, Manchester United, Jaden and Dortmund all in conversation. Uh, Jimbo, thoughts on this? Do you think this will happen, firstly? And what are your thoughts on if it does? I think this... Uh, yes, I think it will happen. Yeah. I think everyone wants it to move forwards and... Uh, you know, Ten Hag hasn't backed down on on his sort of position on this. Jaden Sancho obviously can't get a look in. Can't he's not mm. e eating with the players at this point, so he needs to sort of kick on and play football. And I think if he wants to sort of kickstart it quickly, going to someone like Dortmund, where he's obviously yeah. you know n knows the areas, played, is loved, all those things. Fans love him there. Don't it's they, a safe right? place yeah. for him to go and start again because he needs to start playing football. Not but in the squad since August the 26th, so it's a long time without football. And of course, Man United have had big injury problems as well, and he's still not featured. Yeah, no, no, absolutely, he's good enough to, and he should be playing for Manchester. United and whatever's broken down has been a personal issue and uh, between him and Ten Hag. Should they have I solved this? Should he? Should he not? This shouldn't even be happening. His role it? as a manager is, is not only is it ensuring that results happen. You've got to manage your playing staff. This situation is ridiculous, and it's well, part of the reason why Ten Hag should probably be removed from manager of Man United. In my opinion, he should really? still. Yeah, I think so. He shouldn't, he shouldn't be there, and that's why a loan option is is important, and in, and in ensuring that there is an option to buy. Because when Ten Hag inevitably leaves, so you leaves, would include an option to buy. I wouldn't. Actually. I wouldn't. If if I was Manchester United, I would do do everything to not include any kind of option yeah, to buy. I, I think so. If there if there isn't an option to buy. Is that saying something about Eric Ten Hag in terms of his future? Because yeah. he's be, he's very clear he does not want him anywhere near the squad. So does that put his future in doubt a touch? OK. Where, would, where mm. are we going to put think, it then? On the board? I don't know. I think that Jaden Sancho obviously is a fantastic player yeah. there and I think he needs for his own development, given that he's only 23 years old, to be playing football every single week. And at Borussia Dortmund, like you said, he's going to be very, very loved. If he goes there, smashes it, his value suddenly... There's no, there's no right out no, through the roof, no even if he help. doesn't make up with Eric Ten Hag. Man United, it doesn't benefit Man United for there to be an option to buy. If they want to sell him in the summer, I agree. Had a good summer, then there's, there's no option. It's true. The, the only benefit now is Dortmund. Much, much lower than if he had an amazing. Yeah, I think a lot of people are supporting about the summer. price tag because obviously they bought him for a huge price tag, 73 million. Obviously, yeah. the fact that he hasn't played now, his value would be less. So obviously, if he does go on loan and does well, then presumably the value would, would increase. And yeah, you're right, actually. And it can't really get any lower. Can it? No, because he's literally he's not been playing football. Yeah. Okay, hit. I think it's a hit. I think it's a hit. Yeah. Good okay. I want to see him playing football. A good player, Jay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next up, I'm going to slightly higher in case we yeah. have two lines, Jim. Oh, okay. So we'll go to Flav for this one first. Yeah. Next up, and this is kind of almost breaking news. Some people might be waking up and seeing this for the first time. <laughs> yeah. Hello. No, this isn't Sky Sports News. This is Saturday Social. Uh, Team Overner could be joining Tottenham Hotspur. Yeah. It seems like very, very reliable reports are I mean, suggesting this is a six-month loan deal. Yeah. Loan with that looks like a loan. This one, doesn't it? Yeah. I, don't hate it at all. I, I think underrated. <laughs> um, and, uh, Why are you laughing? He, I, I think there's he's a lot of a lot of people searching their WhatsApps right now, trying to find some receipts. There are perhaps. And Flav, you don't agree with Flav? I talk to Flav a lot, <laughs> and and Flav, believe it or not, doesn't sit on the fence, especially when it's something that he can get his claws into. And I would imagine if I went in, into my phone and searched. <laughs> There might be some stuff that we could do. There, what, there, all right, I said something in 2020, right? I did say something in 2020 about <laughs> Timo Werner being a, a waste of money, right? But that was my job as a Tottenham fan back then. My job now is to, to look at this in the most positive way. And I'm, if the question is Brian Hill and Richarlison for the next six months, or the next six weeks, rather, when Son's away, then why can't he be the answer? I think this is a pragmatic, sensible, um, free tr well, well, loan to, with an option to buy. And why not? It's interesting about this one because it only we only saw this very quick before we were on air. But a lot of people, Chelsea and Spurs fans, particularly talking about it. It's a lot of people saying, in terms of Ange's system, he can play out on the left, he can yeah. play up top as well. So do you think they're almost looking at it because if it is a loan and there's yeah. no money that's le that's passing, six other than months, essentially, six. you know, there's not a huge transfer fee. Do you almost think there's not a lot to lose here? Now, what is there to lose? We need bodies. The system that Postecoglou plays is. Evidently, given the amount of injuries we've had, it does have wear and tear on the squad. So we do need bodies. Son isn't there now. It's, it's an important part uh, thing to remember is that Hummin Son is away, and 
if we, it, it, could he offer something that Brian Hill cannot and, Richard, and something different from Richardson up top? And the answer is yes. Let's ask James what he thinks, not, not about whether he believes what Flav is saying is true, but what you, you think is a neutral yeah. about this deal. I, I think Flav has a point, because the thing with Ange Postacoglu and I think the players that he's trying to bring in, and, and we'll get to another one uh, later in the segment, is that he likes people with energy. He wants to play with energy. Can he press? Oh, he can press. Well, if he can press, he plays. <laughs> he, yeah, well, so, and I think oh, if you have a centre-forward, <laughs> a centre-forward, he's had it at Celtic, where you have a centre-forward who, who works so yeah. hard and it can create a lot for, for other players. Also, with the philosophy with Ange, is it's about getting bodies in the box. And so, as long as he's not the only body in the box, you might not have to worry as much about his finishing prowess. Yeah. It's more about the energy that he brings to the team. So, I don't, I don't think there is much to lose. He's not the future... But he could be a good stop. It's a pragmatic signing. Do you have, for, do you have a hit then? Yeah. Go on. Okay. Yeah. Look at that. Reacting to news yeah. straight away as straight it happens. You, what show. I will say is, it will. There'll be no middle ground. Mm. It'll, people will go, "That's a disaster," or, <clears throat> "Wow, Ange, you've done it again." Okay. We'll okay. see. Next one's an interesting one, Joe. Calvin yeah. Phillips to Newcastle. Uh, only made four Premier League sub appearances this season. That's 89 minutes in total. I forget that he was England Player of the Year only a few years back, oh, wasn't he? Yeah. Regular for England. Um, but a lot has been made about his game time. Even a fascinating press conference with Pep actually a few weeks back saying about how he feels sorry for him. He rates him, but obviously competition for places. I'm, it. I'm so bored of Pep, Pep Guardiola <laughs> apologising to Calvin Phillips. Like, you signed him, play him. If you're that sorry, get him some minutes. It's like all you hear, about four or five occasions, Pep Guardiola's gone, I feel bad about it. I feel sorry for that. Yeah, well, you should, because you brought him in and haven't played him. £50 million, pounds, sign him. Yeah, I wonder if the, the apology is to sort of bump up the price a little bit as well because he's such a good, he's such a good player. We just can't seem to find. Do you like the fit in Newcastle though? Mm. So my feeling with the Newcastle thing is, obviously they've had a lot of injuries. I wonder if do they need a, a right winger a little bit more or another centre back a bit more than than a midfielder? He he does make them better, but it would mean maybe Lewis Miley has less minutes um, in terms of areas of the pitch where they have enough bodies. That's an, area, that's an area where they do have some bodies. So, th from that point of view, I don't totally get it. But in terms of a player with energy who is quality, I love him as it a is. player, he does make them better. But I just think they should probably be focusing in a different area if they've only got so much money to spend within their I, Going back to that one then, hit or a miss, what, what are you saying for that one? I think, I think if he goes there, he'll, he'll, he'll be fine. He'll do well enough. Um, I think he's you know proven Premier League player. I just don't think they need him more than other areas of the pitch. That's so you're opinion. saying miss? I think it'd be a hit. I think it'd be a, I think it'd be a hit. I just don't think I need him. OK. Into the hit he goes. I think they need I have to say, we're seeing a lot of positivity around the January transfer rumours <laughs> yeah. so far that we've talked about. Next up, Joao Polinia. What a player. It's another one, Fantastic isn't it? Fantastic <laughs> player. player. Yeah, I mean... It always, if you ever go on, uh, you know, stats websites and you can find out on like tackles and things like that, he's miles out in front. Yeah. Every, mm -hmm. Like the last two years with Fulham, he, it's such a loss for Fulham if he does go. It was interesting because he nearly went, didn't he, in the yeah, very in the went. summer. Yeah. Um, great player and good enough for for a Bayern. Good Munich. fit for Bayern yeah. in terms of the actual transfer for you. Yeah, and also I think say you've got you've got Kimmich there. Goretzka is good, but I think that's an area where you could bring in a different kind of player and Polina could be that guy, that destroyer mm. that goes and, 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 and wins the ball because he's, he's not as good in terms of sort of picking up the ball and starting things, but that's Kimmich's job. So uh, I like it. Is it, is it too much money? He's a little bit older, isn't he? Well, they're asking, according to reports, upwards of £60 million. Because he signed a contract, didn't he? Yeah, he signed yeah. a contract when the move from Bayern to Bayern collapsed. He signed a new contract, but... You know, some reports saying it's more maybe more likely in the summer than January. This one, you're spot on about his stats for though. Most tackles won and Jules won in the Premier League last season. Concede Fulham concede 1.3 goals per game with him starting since his Premier League debut. Concede 2.9 per game when he's missing. Really huge wow. difference. Great stat. No, no doubt he's a, an incredible player, and you can understand why why they want him. They have just dropped a lot of money on Harry Kane, and they're not. I mean, they're, they're really well run um, by Munich, yeah. but, but that's a massive investment in January. It'd be interesting. We can be talking about. Eric Dyer, no doubt, in a, in a bit. We'll come to that, he yeah. He may be a, a stopgap for... It's but... another hit for me. Okay. Go on, then. Get another. Okay. It's a positive uh, start to this Saturday morning. I'm I'm great, I'm great, no one disagrees with that, though. I've got to say, all... great placement from James yeah. as well. Yeah. <laughs> we're, very, we're very particular about <laughs> Joe and I on this show. Uh, next one, we'll come to Flav next. Reveal the magnet, James, because okay. this is one I know Flav wants to talk about. Conor Gallagher linked with Tottenham. Now, he's played 22 of 23 of Chelsea's games this season. Stats-wise, he's been one of their highest-performing players... 
uh, captain as well on many occasions. A lot of people are surprised if this were to happen, because Chelsea and Tottenham don't do a lot of business. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think it will happen, firstly? Uh, no, I don't think it will. I, I think Chelsea will end up keeping him. Mm. Um, and if there is an option to sell him in the summer, it's the same problem solved. Chelsea do have a situation where they have to generate money each summer because of how much they've invested yeah. going forward. And homegrown players count as 100% on the PL sheet. So selling Gallagher makes sense financially for Chelsea. As a, as a statement, this is huge. If Spurs manage to take Chelsea's captain, that is a massive shift in what... Tottenham and Chelsea are as football clubs. Um, I don't. Not their actual captain, though. Obviously, Rhys James is their captain. Sorry, has he not been captain this season? He has been captain this season, but you know, Rhys James is the captain. Uh, yeah, yeah, but in his absence, who's who's been captain? I understand that, but like, I think current Chelsea captain. Me, we're if, if we were Chelsea. to sign him this at this moment, he is Chelsea captain. He would come into Tottenham. He's good enough to be their captain. He started every, every uh, you know every other every game by one. Um, As a broad idea, it, it is an odd thing to have, even if he's not the sort of main man captain, mm. whoever's a captain of a football team is generally yeah. one of the top it's, three, four yeah, players. Yeah, yeah. So for Tottenham to just go and take it... It's, it's, a, paradigm, one of it's a paradigm shift players. between what Chelsea Football Club are and what Tottenham have become. And if we can take their captain <laughs> from them, that, that is a massive statement for Tottenham. Um, the other, other issue play. is... For, no, that's it. There's that's, other things that, that play. There's yeah, nothing else yeah, to play. Yeah. The £40 million pound is a lot of money. Um, and he's, I, I think he's a good player. He's, 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 Does he start for you, Conor Gallagher? Does he start? If everyone's you? fit, probably not. Wow. It'll no, be no, we haven't had one game where everyone's been fit, though. That is no, he's that, that, that is does get fit, which is obviously going to be the plan. We've got... We've got he, he, <laughs> it would be him or uh, Ben Tancor, you'd imagine, that would be competing. Um, Bissouma is our six if he's ever fit uh, and play, comes back to form. And then you've got Madison in that three. So it will be, in terms of competition play, uh, for places, important. Homegrown player is also, there's a massive equity in that. And if you look at the ones that are available in midfield or those that haven't moved recently, there's nothing there other than Conor Gallagher to, to, to pick up. And for 40 million, it would solve a lot of problems going forward. So okay. could this be another hit? It won't happen, but... It, I, I can't see anything other. What, are you, what do you think? I, 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 th I think if they can do it, it's immense because it's not an 11 players sport anymore. You need players yeah. off the bench, and he has so much well, energy yeah. and he can play in loads of different positions. Possible. If you can do it for 40 million, yeah. that's I, I agree with that. When people so. say, where would he play? It's somewhat not critiquing the question, no, it's a valid one, but like man, no one ever says that with Man City by a player because they have two good players yeah. in every position. So that, that's what you want to become if you want Pressure's to become... And that midfield at Spurs is constantly moving. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, next one. Next one. So many hits. <laughs> I've been turning to Arsenal next. Now, we have to caveat this with the fact that Brentford have said that, mm. you know, we don't want to lose him. Thomas Frank's been very, very yeah. clear. If he's going to be moving, it's going to be for unbelievable Big fees, fees right? quoted at 100, 100 million right? so let's say well, this so is isn't Mbemo injured and Burmo's injured this and this is off the, the AFCON. AFCON so let's yeah. say this is 100 million because yeah, I think we've got to be fair to Brentford here mm. and sort of not disrespect them and so you take the price taking into consideration I think if you've got I think you've got to because otherwise okay. we're not going to be talking about our rumor Flav 100 million pounds means that he needs to return 20 to 25 league goals 35 appearances, 21 he, goals he last season. He did score 21 goals uh, for Brent. He definitely has the ability Only to do Only Haaland and Kane scored more Premier League goals last season. He, has the, he definitely has the ability to do it. And in a team like Arsenal, where he's going to get so many chances, he needs to. He has to deliver that. Um, Would you pay £100 million in January? Personally, because of what he's done previously on social media, I wouldn't want him at Tottenham. Uh, I wouldn't want him slating off my football club while he played for them, like he has done with Brentford. But Arsenal, I can see it working because... <laughs> Those are the but... thoughts of Flav. James, what are your thoughts? <laughs> 100 million is a lot. Mm. I mean, how many better... Obviously, we haven't seen him for a long time, but over the last couple of years, he's been phenomenal. Yeah. I've always, I feel like we watched the game together yesterday. We were chatting about him, and I was saying... Like with Declan Rice, when he was at West Ham, there was a lot of people who didn't realise just how good he was. And I feel like the same with Ivan Tony. He's yeah, got a lot of West Ham fans say that actually about Declan Rice. Season, and they're so. frustrated when everyone's going, yeah. oh wow, look, he's gone up. And well, he's not. He was, he was yeah, amazing yeah. there, but you just get a different kind of spot. Same spotlight. with Kane at Bayern, actually. A lot of Tottenham fans say, well, we know, we know this. Is, yeah, yeah. I know what you're how saying. Many, how many great strikers are there in, in your Would you rather pay right? 100 for Tony or a player we're going to come on to later, 130 for Osterman? I That's think a great goes, question. I think you go Ivan Tony. I'd go Ivan Tony. If you want to. Guaranteed Premier League goals, Ivan Tony. OK, so you so suggesting this is another hit for 100 mil? It's a lot of money. It's a lot of money, but he could be the missing piece for Arsenal. That, 20, that is the thing, isn't he, it? He's, he's the 20, striker, the guy that you can guarantee goals to get you out of trouble, to be that cheat code when you need a goal. Mm -hmm. And he, has, he really does have everything. 
You'd back him for the golden boot if he got if he went to Arsenal. Do you think Arsenal would win the league if they signed Ivan Tony in January this That's season? That's a big statement, by the way. You back him for the golden boot when Haaland's in the league? Uh, I think you do. Mm. It's close. He's that good. I would back him for it next year. Okay. All right. Is it another? We haven't thought this item through, have well, we? <laughs> <laughs> I, do you know what? If we don't get any misses, then we don't get any misses. Yeah. But I think we will later on. Um, Brady Dragusin for Tottenham. Centre back linked with Spurs. Heavily linked. 21 years of age. Uh, playing for Genoa. Napoli also linked with him. Um, this has been. For every time I read the, the sort of update, it's changing constantly. Yeah. Do you think this will happen, Flav? Uh, I think it will happen. Um, I think it's it's crucial to Tottenham that we bring someone in at centre back. He's the only yeah. one that's actually been linked since to, to be yep. to be uh, transfer sort of faded away. Um, I, I've got to be honest. I don't know a great deal about him before, mm. but I know that he played uh, football with um, Bentancur and, and Kulusevski, yep. and you got Paratici there as well. He's n no doubt behind the scenes orchestrating this. If Spurs and po uh, possibly want him, then uh, then I want him, but it's a risk. A lot is of... it a risk at that fee? Yeah, it's, it's not cheap. a huge. It's twenty-one. Money, well, it's certainly not a risk if he's good. <laughs> if, he's, uh, if he turns out to be average, then yeah, that's true. Then and obviously, it's he looks good. good. Like the YouTube videos, he looks good. Yeah, they always do, though, don't yeah. they? That's the problem. <laughs> yeah. He looks. I looked into his stats, and he look, He seems very effective in the opposition box. Mm. Um, from that, so from that point of view, obviously, that that's great to have. Um, the fact that Juventus were happy to let him go is a bit of a red flag well, for Happy me. to let Benton Co go, and though. Then, yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But to get with, And then it's Genoa who pick him up. That is a bit of an alarm bell. And Romanian player of the year. And yeah. Also, mm. you know, that's that's a, a huge markup on five million in the summer to mm. 20, 25 million now. Do you, also, I guess one positive, weirdly, is do you want someone who's going to come in and take Van der Ben? You've got your centre-back partnership, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, well... It really is a backup. He's a backup, but like they, they've played 10 games together. Yeah, they're both. Yeah, they, we, the amount of injuries we've got. We've got Ben Davies who's just got another hand. Oh, I, I get you need the numbers, but. Let's make a decision on this one then, I reckon. Just, just to sort of get something over here. So you check out on this. What? No, no, I don't, don't think he's going to change the world. He's not going to change the world. Do what you think's right here. Don't I don't think he'll change so, the world. So the only. Look, I, I'm, I, I don't know why I want to help with that, but, but I'm, I, 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 I'm going to say hit because it's Spurs. But there is a risk with him in that if, if Van der Ven and Romero do stay fit, that he doesn't get any minutes. And uh, so, so, but I, I he, he could just get he... forgotten. That's all. But I, I don't think I think profile-wise and and him being a backup, I, I get it. But there's no one there, guys. <laughs> no, we've got plenty no, of time. Don't force. Don't force. All right. Well, okay. so, should we do the next? I don't two? see a problem. Yeah, let's let's pick up the pace we'll a little bit. We'll go right. next to Brereton Diaz. Jimbo, you have seen a lot of him. Championship. Yeah, yeah. boys. Yeah, he's. Uh, I mean, he's he's great if they go back down. <laughs> um, he's not played a minute in the Premier League. I don't think. Um, He's a, he's a big lad as well on that left-hand side. Uh, he's gone to Villarreal and it's, um, it's not worked at all for them. I, I like it for, for him going to Sheffield United. I think it's a good fit there. And what I think it could do is it could facilitate Archer scoring more goals. Mm -hmm. uh, so you've got a little bit more quality up there on the left-hand side. A bit part player on a failing sort of uh, Villarreal team this season. Yeah, it's, it's not really worked work. for him. I, I did... I, I was listening to um, a, a video on him and he was saying that generally he doesn't start very quickly at clubs. Mm. So that's not great. Mm. I, I don't think he will keep them up, um, but he'll be great in the championship when they go back down. And he's big, he's a big lap. Yeah, 47 goals and 177 hats for Blackburn, but no goals in 20 appearances for Villarreal, so... He's not really starting against Villarreal. Only on loan, though, remember, so... Mm. Yeah, we talk about the championship effects, might not actually see them if he goes back to Villarreal. That's true, that's true. I think... I don't think he'll keep them up. OK. Yes, then. Is it a hit? OK. Sadly. And I'm sorry, um, OK. Bad. First miss it is. Uh, we'll go to the next one. Eric Dyer to Bayern Munich. This is another one that was bubbling crazy. Uh, this week. Uh, one of a number of centre-backs they're looking at. I did read an interesting report from Thomas Tuchel saying he, he, we believe that he wants to get a centre-back that can also play in the DM role, which is why yeah. the interest is there. Obviously, Harry Kane's spoken highly of him. But not getting game time for Tottenham. Only one start for Spurs this season compared to 31 last season. Used a lot under the Conte system, not so much under Postacoglu. Yeah. What are your thoughts on this one, Flo? Well, yeah, it's the system thing. Is If we were playing a low block, then he would, it would probably be fine as a squad player for Spurs. Interesting that Bayern Munich would want to bring him over. Is he coming over as uh, we talked about before we started? But uh, is he, is he the Jonathan Wilkes mm. of Harry Kane? Harry Everyone Kane. needs a mate. Maybe Harry Kane <laughs> just needs a mate. Um, no, that's going to pop over there. Google it. You be younger if, lot. <laughs> if he's inter if they he can play as a, as a as a DM, um, he hasn't played there for about four years, so it'd be interesting. Mm. But in, it, it's not like the one thing I'll say is is you know he's going to potentially go to Bayern Munich, and you know 
would be depth. If you look at Bacano, yeah. Kim, you look at Matej de Ligt, he's had his injury problems this season, probably fourth choice there. But Tottenham also, like you said, have had injury problems consistently. Is that just a, another player out in terms of depth and he's only going there to be depth? Yeah, I mean, for us, it solves... We, we, what what, what is it solving for you? It, 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 in that it's, it's not fit for purpose for Tottenham. Um, there's no point in playing him. He's, in the one game he started against Wolves... And I, I, I loathe to criticise him because I, I'm a big fan of... But you were good for 85 no, minutes in that not. game, weren't you? This is, right for Spurs fans have turned... So many Spurs fans have turned on Eric Dyer. If he's not, as bad as most Spurs fans say he is, no, he's so I'm not saying that. That's what most Spurs fans yeah, say. Then the this will be a disaster. No, it will be a miss, right? But it, 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 he's not. It's certainly because Bayern Munich are open, uh, play open football. They as play well, just right? as high line as you, yeah. Right, right. So he would in that system get exposed. He's too slow to play it. Okay, so you're and, and, I, and I'm, I'm allowed as a Spurs fan to say I'm grateful for his service, but yeah. he's not quite fitting into this system. I think Eric Dyer, for the kind of career he's had, he gets hammered. He gets hammered by Spurs fans. All right, let's get him up on the board, Dan. I don't think... You can't say he doesn't get hammered by Spurs fans. I think it's OK to cri critique performances. Hammered is the wrong word. Um, yeah. Right, next up. Next up. Who have we got? Victor Osman, is it? To Chelsea? Yeah. Hmm. Now, obviously, just signed a new contract. Mm. Important to point out, but does have a release clause in it. 130 mil. But again, this is a player that would cost a lot of money and a club that have spent a lot of money already. Mm. Yeah, and, and... And are having to sell players, yeah. Yeah, reportedly. Y yes, exactly. Well, that, that was it, you know, when we were talking about Conor Gallagher, that, that's the thing that, as much as you're taking the captain and changing of the guard, Chelsea need to... They have to sell their homegrown players because you get all the profit from that, it would seem. So, to spend £130 million on a guy who is a, a, an amazing striker, I think, again, on paper, you would expect it to work. But what about the Chelsea curse, Joe? What about the Chelsea the curse? Nines, yeah. They, time and again, it doesn't seem to work. That said, I think that is the kind of striker you want to go and get. £130 million is a lot, though. Love, just quickly, this is the last one we're doing. So. Yeah, the, uh, the money doesn't add up for me because of the way the, the situation they've, they've got themselves in in terms of money committed mm. over the next eight years or so. But if they can get him, he's, he's world class. Best, one of the best number nines are about. They need, they need Nicholas Jackson ain't the one. So, yeah. So you'd have him as a hit. OK. If, if it happens, 100%, yeah. So there we go. There is confirmation Jimbo's of our Jimbo's tour. Jimbo's Jimbo, Jimbo wants to be a miss. Spend you that want... much money, it could be catastrophic oh, for sorry. the club. Apologies, you want miss, you want him. I want miss, I think. I'll, I'll go miss. Just because if it goes... Oh, OK. Just because you can't be spending that kind of money That was right very now. easily swayed there, by the way. No, I'm, oh, I'm <laughs> happily swayed. Not because swayed of the player, but you can't be... They can't keep spending that yeah, amount okay, of money. That's not the thing. And as we say, it's your your agreement, your list. Uh, there is confirmation. We'll have a look at the board of the January transfer slash rumours slash signings. Who you think's a hit, who you think's missed. Let us know home what you think of them.